Hey guys, it's Busy Sims, and we are back with more Pio Fiore 1926. Obviously, we're just going to keep calling it Pio Fiore from now on. You know it's 1926, so, you know, anyway. So just picking up where we left off in Gilbert's route, my bird is sitting with me and has decided that he wants to cling to the front of my shirt and jam his face in my neck. So this is going to be awkward and weird, and I'm probably going to giggle a little because it tickles. It tickles, and his tiny little toenails are like every once in a while when he moves, digging into my neck. Um, Yeah, this is a good time. And he's chewing on my face now, like biting my chin. Anyway. It was afternoon, and Sister Sophia had asked if I could pick up a few groceries. What's going on over there? He might also be able to hear him cluck every once in a while, so. The weird clucky noises, it's the bird. Or peeps. I looked toward a nearby crowd and noticed someone passing out newspaper extras. On the front of the paper... La Gazeta, Berlin. The National Fascist Party takes power! Governor Ernesto De Feo inaugurated! Ah... So, um, uh, that's when, uh, that's, Marco was talking to Roberto and was like, isn't he? So, like, somehow related to him. His dad, his uncle, his brother, cousin, something. Obviously, DeFeo, because that's Roberto. There was a headline printed about the new governor-elect of Puglia? 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 <laughs> Whatever, I don't know. Anyway, the region in southern Italy where Berlone is located, its capital is Bari. We're just making up names of how we pronounce these things because I don't know it's Italian. A new governor's been elected. Sister Sophia and I were just discussing the upcoming election for a new pope. Oh, it's all tied! It's all tied together, and my computer just decided again that it's going to randomly change my fucking volume settings. I don't know why it decides that when I set it, gonna change it and then when i stop a recording and then i go to do a new recording it's like oh no you want it back here i was in the middle of doing this and i'm like it's screaming in my ear because my headset volume is completely off and i can still hear the music so like anyway it's annoying so then my computer's fucking possessed so i'm gonna be bitching about that for time immemorial anyway but yeah, I have a feeling this is all tied together oh there's a new freaking pope there's a new governor direct appointment by Mussolini. I'm just saying, shit's getting sus, okay? People are trying to kill Yang, and you know he's our friendo. Maybe not so much in this realm, but you know. We're at peace with it. I'm just saying, there's some shit going down, man. Obviously. <laughs> you, you go through the whole game and like, and then everybody was happy and nothing bad happened, and I just went grocery shopping. Um, what? You know, there's gonna be something going on, so like, hello. I could feel things beginning to change with these new leaders taking their place soon. Ah, Signorina, over here! Never in my life have I seen. Have I. Yeah, have I. Why in the world can my brain, like. <laughs> uh, anyway. Never in my life have I seen someone so beautiful. How about we go out and. I'm sorry, but I have errands to run. Where to? Let me help. No, I'll be fine. Come now, I can't have a pretty girl like you wander around by yourself. I hope he's not actually a character that's supposed to have like a sprite that we're gonna have to give a normal voice to later, because, you know. I'm an Italian gentleman, after all. I'm sorry. My instincts were telling me to move away from him as quickly as possible, since it didn't seem he could be convinced of anything. Uh, hold on there, signorina. He was following after me. I let out a sigh and picked up the pace and continued walking away when suddenly... Hey, stop right there. Can't you see the lady isn't interested? I don't know who it is. Ah! Uh, another man suddenly intervened. One of our new characters. One of the new characters. I have no idea who he is. I just know I've seen a sprite before, so that's it. He was wearing a long scarf and stylish dark glasses. His hair was tied in a casual ponytail, and flashy gold rings adorned his fingers. Sounds like he's in the Mafia, too. So, okay. There's a couple characters aside from, what's his name that we just, you on? <laughs> Whatever. Like, in the last part, there's another one that, like, has the same, like, you're like, okay, he looks like he's in the Lao Shu or 
whatever the name I can't pronounce. Um, head peeps, Laoshu head office, <laughs> right? Um, just based on the clothing, but then there's this guy, and like, hi, come on, look at him. First of all, you're wearing a flashy vest. I want to love you more than I do, to be honest. Like, you've got flashy clothes on. The fucking scarf, everything is kind of just mismatched. Because, like, the purple scarf doesn't really go with your red shirt. And then you got blue inside the cuffs. You're just, like, there's just a bunch of clashing kind of colors here, but I'm here for it. I'm like, I approve of how flashy they made everybody. Like, the other clothes and everything. Like, bra fucking O, okay? This is like, if there was a dude in real life wearing this, I'd be like, no, I'm into it. <laughs> I'm into this shit. I don't know if you're going to be a good guy or not. But anyway. Uh, um. The young man took a step back. I gotta, we gotta have a voice for him. I need another accent. <laughs> I need like... <laughs> I could give him the really bad fucked up Minnesota accent. It's not really Minnesota, but it's the best thing. Like, <laughs> could you hold on? I'm just gonna read the We can't do it, but like I just gotta play around with this guy for a while. Cause like he also seems like he would have like the MP slash Gilbert voice, but we can't do the same fucking voice because like you're in Gilbert's route. You got some kind of ties to him somehow. You know what I mean? Like you know him, you 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 knew each other in America, right? Like, you're in the Chicago mafia. Wasn't he from Chicago? <laughs> like, I don't remember. Anyway. Oh, yeah, Chicago. Okay. Oh, jeez. You can't got no... Oh, you can't do no credit, do you? How can a gentleman not understand a woman's heart? Yeah, something like that, but like a woman's hat. <laughs> That's a little more Boston. I don't know what that is. I don't know. We can't do that. But that was fun. Anyway. Uh, anyway. Uh -huh. You have to have some- Oh, well, there you go. You can have a nice- Hi, I'm an announcer accent. There you go. Anyway, we'll kind of go with something. Oh, fuck around with it anyway. Oh, jeez. You do your kind no credit, do you? How can a gentleman not understand a woman's heart? Listen up. If you don't know when to back off, don't even start picking up women. Kind of works. It's a little bit the- <laughs> I love his little pout. It's adorable. <laughs> you know, it's a little bit the Gilbert kind of voice, but hopefully it comes across different. It comes across different to me, but, like, I hear it different than you and then I listen to what you hear, and I'm just... I feel bad for you guys. Anyway. Now off you go! Scram! R right I don't know that guy's voice anymore. Though dejected, the young man quickly took his leave. Thank you very much, signor. Signore? Signore? <laughs> I don't know how to say Italian things like this. Ah, uh, no need for all that. It's fine. It's not my nature to ignore a woman in trouble. Oh, he's got a smarmy grin, though. But... You've done me in. I can see why that young lad's tail was wagging. Huh? Seeing a beauty like you, his instincts must have told him to catch you before you disappeared. I bet he couldn't even stop to think. Any man would have done the same, except for the one who's already had a lover of their own. So how about it? If you don't mind, I'd love to buy you a drink. Oh, dear God! <laughs> <laughs> this is my kind of a Tome game, though, because, like, every fucking man is all up in our shit. I'm literally breathing here. That's all I'm doing. I love it. The smile was disarming and friendly. Thank you for the invitation. Um, I'm sorry, bro. I got a man. Also, he almost killed his lawyer just because he thought I was going to give him... I was getting accounting lessons and he thought I was having sex with him. He would never have killed Oliver, but he was sad and jealous. But anyway, um... Yeah, the right answer is I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but I'm busy at the moment. How about I wait until you're done? I can't. I already have plans for tonight. You should mention I have a boyfriend. Ah, oh, out of luck, huh? He shrugged and gave a deep sigh. It's funny because he's like, oh, the only man who wouldn't come after you is one that already has a lover. And you should be like, I already have a lover, so maybe you should just... I know I ain't got a ring on it, but... We really have to go to Gilbert and be like, listen! I'm going to need you to put a ring on this shit, because the amount of men that are trying to pick me up just today when I'm going grocery shopping is ridiculous. I even put on a nun's habit, and yet they're still coming after me. I don't get it. I got weird fetishes here. <laughs> there was something charming about it. That's just how it goes. Well, how about you tell me something, then? Sure. What is it? Can you tell me which way's Krita? 
I'm new in town and I'm a bit lost, I admit. Are you here on vacation? Yep, from Chicago. Oh, okay, I fucking told you. Okay, so, uh... <laughs> oh! Are you, by any chance, looking for the Visconti residence? You probably shouldn't tell him, because, like, I'm not sure... I told you, he knows Gilbert from back in the day. Because he's in Gil's route, so obviously. Okay, it was... He dressed like fucking mafia. And Gil's route, and okay, so it was Chicago. But anyway, um... I'm not necessarily sure if he's like, good old buds, or like, I'm gonna kill you. I'm just throwing this out there, so like, I don't know if, if he's good or bad. Anyway. Your Italian's very good. I thought you were, from, you were from around here, especially being like, creepy like that guy. Seems like the Italian way or some shit, no. Now that he mentioned it, he did, he did seem to have a slight American accent. You should give him a fucking Boston accent just for that. <laughs> he has a slight American accent. Oh, I can hear Yang's Chinese accent. It sounds Irish, but what else? <laughs> <laughs> Game is a train wreck. This channel is a train wreck. Anyway. A uh, girl I love taught me how to speak Italian. I see. She must have been a good teacher. He winked at me playfully. Absolutely. And as beautiful as you, that's for sure. Huh. I pointed down the road toward Krita. Just go down this road and make a right at the second street and it won't be long from there. You're my savior. Thank you, Signorina. Are you looking for a specific place? I can get better directions if I know where it is. What, what's going on, bird? What? What? Don't freak out like that. I don't like it when you do that. No, I'll be fine. I'll just follow my feet. If I get lost again... Strike up a conversation with someone else. It's the best part of traveling, isn't it? Yes, of course. Well then, safe travels. Right, thanks. Oh god, and we're gonna meet Gilbert, and he's gonna be like, I have to go, a friend from Chicago. And you're like, is it the dude with the glasses and the purple scarf? And he's like, what? You are you know what would be so much more fun to fuck with Gil? When he's like, oh, blah, 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 someone from Chicago. And you'd be like, oh, I'm sorry. And he's like, what? I just got a headache. Oh, seeing a man with a hill? Purple scarf? Is he wearing like a red shirt and a vet glass? You'd be like, what the fuck? And then you're like, nah, I met him and I told him where to go. <laughs> of all the fucking people to meet in the street, but I'm just saying. He waved a hand as he walked away. He had a very friendly way about him. Which I just feel like is either, I mean, that could be like, oh, he's very friendly. Cool, he's our friend. Or he's very friendly and we should not trust our judgment because he's going to stab us. I'm just saying, I'm not really 100% sure. I don't remember if she had good judgment about people. I mean, we're dating mafia members, so maybe not. Um, You know. He was honest, but not too pushy or mean. He seems like he can make friends with anyone. As I thought about the unusual encounter, I resumed my walk through the plaza. Good God, I cannot wait. I arrived at the kitchen with my groceries and could already smell the goodness wafting through the air. I'm back, Elena! You're welcome back! We're already getting dinner ready? Yes, one of our parishioners gave us plenty of fresh vegetables. Everyone's going to be in for a treat tonight! How wonderful! I'm sure the children will be thrilled. Yeah, every kid loves vegetables. I'm sure the orphan kids are just happy they have food and they're not living on the streets, so... In this day and age, huh. I'm starting to get hungry already. <laughs> you're just going to have to wait. Oh, I'm sorry. I completely forgot you're going to be out tonight. No, don't apologize. I should be the one saying sorry for always being away lately. Not at all. You don't need to worry. Seeing you so happy makes me happy too, you know. Elena's such a fucking good little cupcake, isn't she? In fact, it's what makes me the happiest. Elena... You know, I really think you and Senior Redford make the perfect match. I talk to him sometimes when he comes to pick you up, and he really is a very nice man. I mean, he kind of is. Despite being in the Mafia, he takes such good care of the church and everyone here. Despite being in the Mafia. At least, at least they're self-aware enough in this game to be like, despite the fact that he's in the Mafia. He seems nice otherwise. You know what I mean? Like, okay. Thank you, Elena. I'm so glad to know you think well of him. <laughs> so back to dinner. Why don't you have a little taste while you're still here? 
Can I really? Of course! But keep it a secret, okay? We smiled and giggled together, just like we did back when we were kids. In exchange for her generosity, I got straight to work in helping her prepare the rest of dinner. We laughed and chatted as usual. Okay, well, there must be a thing coming up. We laughed and chatted as usual as I waited for Gil to come and pick me up. And then it just... I was like, I couldn't skip, so I'm like, one's gonna pop up, but it went automatic. <laughs> ah, I told ya. So this one's called Reunion. Okay. I missed the thing when it was popping up. I was trying to read fast, but... <laughs> Looking good, Gil. I could spot you from a mile away. The red hair of yours hasn't changed since you were a kid. I don't remember if this is his voice. God, he changed already. So how's... Amaria. So how's Amaria doing? Is she well? How dare you mention her name? Come on, lighten up. I know what happened. I still regret it to this day. I've been thinking about her ever since we split. How could I not? But now a big shot down north. But now a big shot down in north side Chicago. That's why. See, I wanted to apologize to Amaria in person. Came all this way to see her, you know. Oh, she's so dead, isn't she? She passed away. I see. Maria. She really was something, I'll tell you. Spill it, Eugene. Eugene! His name is Eugene! I love it! It's such an adorably nerdy name, and he's kind of actually like a little suave mafia boy. The juxtaposition is great! I love it! You expect. Well, Eugene's, I do expect to wear glasses, but you know what I mean? You have certain expectations when you hear, like, Eugene. It's kind of like Poindexter. You've got an image in your head, right? And then, like, all of a sudden, Gil shows up and his name is Poindexter. And you're like, wait, what? You know what I mean? I'm just saying. It's Billy Eugene. You didn't come all the way to the Italian countryside just to talk about old times. Oh, well, I really am sorry about what happened to Maria. And you're right, because I also came here to see you, Gil. Oh, I don't feel like this is a good thing. <laughs> Hear me out, will ya? I've got an amazing business opportunity for you. I've brought some quality heroin with me. Whoa, 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 Eugene. Back it the fuck up. We don't do drugs in the Mafia. We're about guns. Heroin, an opioid drug made from morphine. You're welcome. Heroin? Yeah, it's top notch. Two kilos of nothing but the best. What do you think? Pretty sweet, huh? It's too much for one guy to sell on his own, so I'm looking for a distributor. Thought your trade was in liquor. Totally into that, though. What? How'd you know that? It's sharp as always, Gil. I am in liquor. With Prohibition, it's practically flying off the shelves now. Prohibition. The National Prohibition Act, also known as the Volstead Act, which prohibited the production, sale, and transport of alcohol in the United States of America. <gasps> what dark fucking times! You know what I really feel like? I should actually have a drink while we're playing this fucking game. Because it'd be funnier, like, taking a sip. Prohibition! Not allowed to drink liquor. Here I am drinking my whiskey. <laughs> uh, anyway. When it comes to liquor, I do it all. Brewing, smuggling, you name it. My boss is a real sucker for liquor, too. It set me up nice and easy. If that's the case. Why even bother with drugs? Ah, uh, you worried about quality. If you want to test it, be my guest. I assure you it's 100% of the good stuff. Please don't get into heroin. Have you tried it yourself? Nah, I don't touch anything if it's for work. Slippery slope. Uh, don't get me wrong, I enjoy a good time like anyone else, but this just isn't my kind of fun. I'm trying to differentiate their voices here. I'm trying to fix Eugene a little bit, because he's starting to sound like Gilbert. And like, Be honest, Eugene. Where'd you get it? Hey, hey, kill. Not so fast. Even if it's you, that's something I can't spill. It's confidential info. There was a law passed two years ago to ban the man ban you man ban the manufacture and import of heroin. Ever since, it's been hard to come by stuff like that in America. That's right. Which is why its market value is skyrocketing worldwide. Now's the time to sell. I really hope Gil is just getting information and you're not going to start. Listen, Gil, I can deal with you doing guns and, like, running liquor and shit like that. But heroin? 
I'm gonna, we're gonna need, didn't we have an issue about drugs in the last one and it was like, the Lao Shu were selling fucking opium and shit? And like, was it opium? I'm just guessing opium. <laughs> they were doing some shit and it was like, and I'm pretty sure the rest of us were like, woo, no, you know? Anywhere you go, it'll fetch a high price. Uh, but, well, I'm sure you've guessed by now. I've got my reasons for moving it ASAP. You've got the cash, right? Come on, buy it, Gil. No. Sorry, I clicked that too fast. Fine, I get it. I'll give you a discount. No. Are you serious? Yeah. Uh, wh what the hell? Uh, can't you tell I need the help? I'm not buying. I don't have the time or money to waste on shady shit like that. Besides, I just don't trust you. Gil. I clicked too fast, I'm sorry, because like I'm trying to so that the text doesn't go slow as shit. And then it's like, all he said was Gil. And I'm like, god damn it. It's so fucking annoying, I wish the text would actually be normal speed when it was filling, so I didn't have to double click. And then accidentally skip shit. It's fine. It'll be okay. We'll suffer. Anyway. Now if we're done here, then get lost. I don't want us breathing the same air. Leave Berlone while you still have the chance. And never show your face to me again. Oh no, we're gonna get kidnapped by this man. We laughed and chatted as usual as I waited for Gil to come and pick me up. We already read that, but that's okay. That was the one that kind of switched away fast, so. You should be here any moment. I walked over to the front of the church. It was just about the time we agreed to meet. Gil! He looks so unhappy. He's like lost in thought, you know what I mean? His, this is his little pensive face. I was running up to him before I realized it. Hey, Signorina. He was smiling as usual, but... You know? And I'll stop inside the church for a spell. Why don't you get your things and I'll be on a sec. Maybe I was overthinking it, but I had the feeling that Gil was acting a little strange. He usually looked people straight in the eye, but today he was avoiding my gaze. Did something happened today? What should I do? If something happened, ask him if something happened, I would assume. Yours. Smart. Say, Gil, I know it may be none of my business, but did something happen today? Shock face. He is fucking adorable, though, isn't he? Look at this little sprite. Just like a little happy, his little sultry eye. <laughs> like, a look of astonishment came across his face, but then he chuckled. Does it look like something's happened? A little bit. Nah, it's nothing. Just what happens when I don't get to see you as much as I want to. I've been waiting for Friday all week. Why don't we continue our chat later in my place? Okay. I nodded and watched Gil walk to the church. Oh, was it just my imagination? Meanwhile story, and I'm assuming we do read these, yes. Disappoint. Scroll up. Yes, we read both of them. Oh, it's Eugene! <gasps> Where are Eugene? That one will. Damn it, Gil. Who do you think you're talking to? I'm never. Eugene's voice is kind of all over the place. I'm sorry, because sometimes it sounds a little bit too much to Gil, and I tried to pull it back, and then it's going like. I can't find a good pacing for him. It's all over, but it's okay. I think we'll be fine. You're telling me to leave this town like it's so easy? If I could do that, I would have done it already. I don't have any cash left to go home now. Well, even if I did, there's no going back. Shit. What a letdown. The for sure he'd bite. Maybe I can sell it off myself. I'm sure there are some users around here. Ah, uh, selling it here would be a bad call. Gil aside, there are other families in town that'd take offense at someone in their territory. I <laughs> feel like someone in their territory. Which is why I came all this way to see him personally, so I could avoid that mess. No, I need, like... Which is why I came all the way here to see him personally. So I can I can't do the- I'm trying to do the fucking film noir voice, and I can't do it. I can do it if I'm not recording, but like, anyway. Which is why I came all the way to see him personally. So I can avoid that mess. Screwed, huh? Come on, how about some coffee? I'm sorry, but I really need to go. Maybe next time. I can help if that'll free up your time. An extra hand can come in handy, you know. Well, no, she's not half bad. Alright, let's give this a try. 
I'm gonna find a place to stay. I'd rather it be with someone gorgeous. Hey, stop right there! Can't you see the lady isn't interested? Uh, it was just my imagination. We're gonna read cooperate. <gasps> We're back with Dante? Dante! It is Dante! Oh, and Orlock! I've looked into what you requested regarding the killings in Strano and Valeno. The deaths haven't followed any discernible pattern. They've been entirely random. The victims have very little in common. Some are from the Lao Shu, but not all. Another thing I noticed. There were several bodies showing no signs of a struggle. So the killers experienced. Yeah, Dante was like that deep voice, but like a little less like... Gotta kind of work on it. Look! Well, it go. It will fix it as I go. Well, I mean, that's basically his voice, but like... No, he was just a little less affected. You know what I mean? There's a certain different... I feel like for me, when I do the voice, there's like several different like tracks it can go in. Slightly different. That's what it sounds like to me, but I guarantee you if I said them all back to back, they would all sound the goddamn same. I can hear the difference in my brain, but I guarantee you it doesn't come out the same way. <laughs> anyway. Yes, enough to finish his work quickly. Whoever it is is highly skilled. Is it you on? Understood. Thank you for the information, Orlock. It is my duty to cooperate with the Fowl's own family. So let me know if I can be a bus of a know if I can be of a of assistance. <laughs> oh my god, I can't speak today. Know if I can be of assistance. Investigation is my specialty. We didn't even get to see Dante! But we got to hear Dante. Where's Nicola? Oh, we haven't seen him yet either. Anyway, was it just my imagination? I should hurry and get my bag. I quickly returned to my room to pick up my things so I wouldn't keep Gil waiting. I actually really do. I mean, it is a little disjointing because, like, the meanwhile stories kind of pop. Not quite at the end of a transition like this one. The other ones, it's like the last sentence and then you go to the things and then when you click, it would go to the next scene, which kind of makes sense. These ones, like that one, kind of pops up in the middle. So it is almost a little disjointing, but I actually really do like them because normal games would just have it like, you know, would do a transition to, oh, we go over here to Eugene, and then it would transition to go, we go to the Dante and freaking Orlock, and then we come back here. But I like that these pop up so that you know that they're happening at the exact same moment. This, we're having this conversation and getting our bag with Gil. Eugene's out there picking up that lady and Dante and Orlock are having this conversation. So I just kind of like that because other games don't make that really clear because they almost go in like a timeline. So you're thinking like, even though you know in your mind somewhere they're probably all happening succinctly, this makes it like a lot clearer that they're happening at the same time. And I don't know, I just like it. I think it's like an interesting thing. And I think I said that in the first one too. So I just like that little like, the way it kind of differentiates instead of like just keeping everything in a succinct line. It's like, oh, by the way, meanwhile story. So as this is happening, this is also happening, you know? Um. Anyway, we arrived at the, at the Visconti Manor. I was led to the room where I usually stayed while Gil headed to the lounge ahead of me. This is a bit unusual. Gil was always... Oh. Gil was always enthusiastic about having me dressed to the nines whenever we went out. Oh. What? Why? Why? Why are there two different buttons? Okay, hold on. All right, it says press this and read. Choosing a dress, Gilbert spends time choosing an outfit for the heroine to wear. Oh! I was like, is, why is it giving me like a glossary section? This. Oh! That's a flashback a CG from the last one. Oh, that's actually cute. It's almost like a meanwhile story, but it's not. It's like a flashback. That's cute. Oh, I, this is new. I don't remember this in the last one. Anyway. I thought that's the last time you dressed like this. Doesn't this style just suit you? I think it's we're supposed to be Gil, so. Chic black dress with a mature silhouette. Silver embroidery that made the eyes travel, but no cleavage, as she requested. Her necklace and earrings had large, matching diamonds. 
She wore her golden hair neatly pulled back and decorated with a nice silver accessory. Honestly, gotta hand it to myself. The outfit I put together for her really brought out her brilliance. <laughs> oh, probably matches her skin color. Oh, maybe this one's better. What sort of dress would she like? I just love this, though! Because, like, me being, you know, my own version of a fashionista, okay? I like my own style, right? Um, I wouldn't say I'm stylish in the sense of, like, I can totally fit the trends. I definitely don't, because I don't give a fuck about trends. I wear what I like, okay? Um, and I don't care if I look like a Rambo puked on me or I fell out of a goddamn Crayola box, okay? Like, that's how I, that's my happy place. Live your dreams, okay? But, so, like, there's a part of me that's like, I want to pick out my own fucking clothes. But there's another part of me that is like, I'm totally fucking into this, that the men are like, let me pick out a beautiful gown for you and shit, and they kind of dress you up, and you're like, and they're like, it's not like, yeah, I'm going to put you in this because it's sexy. They're always like, what's going to look best on you? What, what's going to make you happy? And they're like, they're actually putting thought into it more than like, yeah, put on this tight little dress. You know what I mean? It's like, no cleavage. She doesn't want cleavage, but the necklace and the earrings and they're pairing on like, they're actually putting thought into making you look beautiful and not just like, you know, a sex toy. Right? I don't know. I'm into it. Like, I love it. There's something adorable about it. You tell most men to go into your closet and pick out an outfit, and they're like, I can barely pick out my own fucking clothes. So, like, having... Well, first of all, have you seen the way any of the men in this game dress? So, like, not surprised they could pick out clothes. They all look fucking fabulous. Gil's got really goddamn good with the flair. So, I'm just saying. Not surprised. They shouldn't be, anyway. Anyway. What would enhance space's natural beauty? Not back to my best work so far. If I'm giving this to her as a gift, it has to be something I can fully endorse. I didn't want to only think of my t my taste. When a gift not from the heart was meaningless. Women's clothes are showing a lot more skin nowadays compared to even a decade ago. Personally speaking, I like the current trends over the heavy dresses from the recent past. I don't want her to be uncomfortable wearing it, so a low neckline's pretty much a no-go. She wore a dress with a flower ornament before, and that looked great on her face was sweet and innocent, but there was also an elegant side to her. Hmm. Black it is. This one's got a nice silhouette to it. After looking through countless dresses... Alright. This is perfect. Finally made up my mind and took a deep breath. I just love the fact that he's spending time picking out these dresses. Damn. I knew she'd look beautiful no matter what I put her in. This beautiful? Can't take my eyes off her. <laughs> Stop it! I'm gonna die. I can't breathe. This is so adorable. <sighs> uh, the starry sky was nothing compared to her. I'd completely fallen for her. <laughs> I love it so much. <laughs> I think in the Tome Kitten's Guide, she said the romance is really heavy in this. She's not wrong. I can't breathe. My chest. Anyway. <laughs> what if you do this? Oh, okay. It's the same thing, whether you go back or forth. That's weird. I was just kind of confused. I'm like, what happens if you... I guess you could just... Let's don't read it anyway. Yeah, it's the same whether you... That's weird. I don't know why it's like either left or right you could press. I was just confused. So I was just pressing them both to see what happens. But they're both the same. Anyway. Uh, Gil was always enthusiastic about having me dressed to the nines whenever we went out. Even going as far as to choose my accessories for me. Today, though, we would just be having dinner here instead of going to a restaurant in Krita. I didn't need to dress up if we were going to relax at the manor, but... It still feels strange. I wasn't sure what it was, but I felt something weighing on my heart. You're as beautiful as ever tonight. I'm the luckiest guy in the world to have such a lovely signorina all to myself. He'll welcome me with a gleaming smile as I arrived in the lounge in my new dress. He's back to normal, but... The sudden change in his demeanor compared to just moments ago was a bit startling. I couldn't get rid of the nagging feeling that something was wrong. Or maybe this means it wasn't that big of an issue. I breathed a small sigh of relief. Soon after, Kill and I spent a pleasant evening together as usual. That's it? We spent a pleasant evening together. I was going to say, I need a little more romance than that, but the whole fucking story about him picking a dress fucking broke me, okay? Like, I'm going to die. Stop it. I don't think I can handle it. Ooh, why are we moaning? 
I slowly lifted my heavy eyelids. Oh, we're mm, we're sleeping. Are we sleeping in bed with Gil? Gil? He was next to me a while ago, but now he was gone. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, we did spend a pleasant evening, I guess. Did I oversleep? I knew I had to wake up, but my limbs felt weighed down. It's so funny, though, because, like, obviously we're boning this man, okay? Um, but it's weird that, like, this is the room that he puts me in, and he has his, we don't stay in his room. But, I mean, like, is that just the way it was in, like, 1926? Like, even if you weren't married, you're like, oh, own rooms. I mean, I'm not opposed to that even now. Like, I, yeah, please have your own fucking room, because if you snore when you sleep, I'm not going to be able to fucking sleep. You know what I mean? Then your own room is like your own space. I'm just very used to it. <laughs> yeah, no, that's great. This is my husband. So you guys live together? Oh, hell no. He's got his own fucking house. We don't live together. <laughs> that's my perfect relationship. No, no, we... No, 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 no. Every once in a while, we'll spend the night at each other's houses. But like, no, nah, not really. No, that's annoying. <laughs> this is why I'm going to die alone. Anyway. I knew I had to wake up, and my limbs felt weighed down. We were up all night having... We were up all night having... Dot, dot, dot. Uh-huh. I bet it wasn't drinks. Uh, as I felt reminders of what we did last night all over my body, my cheeks grew incredibly hot. Okay, this. Oh my god, I'm so embarrassed about it. Like, unless you're saying your cheeks are growing hot because you're turned on again by all the shit you're remembering... Don't get embarrassed by it. You've been dating this man for a year. That's going to make me angry. I told you that before. I decided to force myself up before I could recall our activities with any more clarity. I suddenly noticed a white piece of paper on the nightstand. It wasn't from Gil. Oh, it was from Gil. I'm like, it wasn't? Someone came in your room and you were naked? It was. Oh, he wrote that he didn't wake me since I was sound asleep. And that he'd return this afternoon. Okay, it's because of me wrong. But I don't know sometimes if they're going to pop up automatically. Because I don't want to scroll too far up in the guide and like, you know what I mean? I guess it doesn't really matter since we're using the guide, so. Sometimes I like to be like, oh, let me see what the right answer is. See if I can figure it out. But with the meanwhile stories, I don't like that one previously was like, it just auto. So you're like, we wrote that. Never mind. It, not that it matters. It's going to come right back to it. But anyway, he wrote that he didn't wake me since I was sound asleep and that he'd return this afternoon. Uh, yeah. Okay. Gilbert. <gasps> Dante! Yay! We heard him before. We didn't get to see his beautiful little face. Look at his pouty, beautiful face. All I'm saying. Okay. And I'm just going to throw this out there. Okay. Kaito Ishikawa does a really great voice for Dante. And that's what kind of annoys me about Marius and Tears of Themis. He just makes his voice kind of whiny. And it's like, you don't do that for Dante. You could have done the same thing and I would have liked it. But like the Marius voice is a little too whiny for me. There's too much of like a, there's just like a grating little whine. And like, I'm just not into it. And it's funny because I was like, but like he's freaking Dante. And like, I couldn't remember the voice acting, but I'm like, I know it didn't bother me. Like I wasn't listening to it. Like, no. So when I listened, when I went in to turn all the, the sound and everything, adjust the sound of this, I listened to the voices. I'm like, yeah, see, the voice he does for Dante is fine. Don't know why he went that way with frickin' Marius. I'm just throwing that out there, okay? Because it's just something that's in the back of my mind at all times. Anyway. Sounds like everyone's being picked off easily. I got eyes in Strano, so we've been looking into it for a while. It's more than we finally got a lead. Apparently some sightings of all masked men showing up out of nowhere, doing their thing and leaving in the blink of an eye. Multiple killers. And do you think the Strano deaths are being carried out by an organization? Look at his little sad perplexed face. They look... Add him on the head. If so, that'll make things a little tricky. Assuming the killings aren't random and are being perpetrated with some objective, then the deaths will continue. No, it's possible that this is just the start. Pain in the ass. It's not like we're busy with other things. Just a few days ago, one of the families we work with in Sicily was hit. Sicily? Must be Mori, then. Mori? Caesar. I'm going to go with Caesar. Cesare? Cesare? I don't know how to pronounce Italian names, but anyway, Mori. The governor of Palermo, known as the Iron Prefect. That's right. That man 
That man may actually be more mafia than we are. Terrible if you ask me. Guys willing to resort to crime to take down us criminals. And the oppression against the Berlone Mafia will only get worse. The new governor of Puglia is just the beginning. Yeah, that's the fascist guy, right? Fascist guy, right? Yeah, fascist. Well, that's the fascist guy, right? Because everyone's having a hard time now. Can't skip, so we're just gonna have to sit here for a minute as we the text pops back up very fucking slowly so we can go to our next meanwhile story. <laughs> That's slightly distracting! Ooh, wait, where are we now? Oh, we're in Yuan. Okay. What did we do for his voice? I can't fucking remember anyway. Oh, he was kind of like Orlock, but very distracted. Right, whatever. This country is rather strange, if you ask me. A small criminal organization seem to wield disproportionate power and influence. The church is far too lenient with this town. Perhaps it's because it's classified as a papal state. Papal state, territory governed by the church. When the kingdom of Italy was established, most, most of these holdings were seized. And then again, that alone isn't enough of a reason to give them so much power and freedom. Is this town really worth, worth the privilege? Perhaps they have some treasure hidden here. Yeah, we do. Jesus. Right? Isn't it? Isn't that what the whole fucking secret was? The key and the gatekeeper and fucking Emilio. Emilio! <gasps> I'm going to have to write down how to pronounce this because it's going to come up a lot and I don't know. But anyway. Oh! Look at you! You're just too adorable! I just wanna- I love- Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. First of all, you're- I've seen him in the thing too. Your clothes are more churchy-like than like, uh, Lao shu like But you also have heterochromia like fucking Orlock. Is that like a thing? What? That's a little sus, don't you think? Do you work for the... Ch are you, like, working for the church like fucking Orlock did? Like, some kind of, like, weird shit? Because, like, the fact that then you both have heterochromia is... Kind of... And, like, innocent little baby faces. How are you Orlock's brother? <laughs> I'm just saying. Oh, my God. I've seen him, too. But anyway. I do not know a voice for him. Because everybody... He seems like he would also have the adorable voice. Somebody's gotta have, like, a redneck southern accent. We gotta get somebody an accent. Yeah, there you go. But, like, nobody can have that, because that's horrible. That's gotta be somebody we hate. Anyway. I don't know what voice to give him. We'll just... I'll just go kind of normal for now, because I don't really know. I'm indebted to the... Whatever that I can't pronounce. We'll write it down. Uh, for all they've done for me, but... I need you to understand that I'm in a position that prevents me from revealing certain things. Whatever you can tell me will suffice. If you don't feel comfortable on the phone, I can pay you a visit. Rome isn't very far, after all. As you mentioned, there's something of value buried in the town. Oh. And how might I get a hold of this valuable something? Their voices sound too similar. I gotta fix it. I don't know. Like, I, I don't have enough voices for the 17 characters in this game. Well, that is something even I do not know. Uh, perhaps you should start digging. Buried, you'd say. I'm certain the church would be selective about its location, though it shouldn't be difficult to uncover. I suppose it is time. Anyway, he wrote that he didn't want to wake me since I was sound asleep and that he'd return this afternoon. This afternoon? I pondered what I should do until then as I walked over to the bathroom. What you should do is just imagine or just remember all the shit that you did last night. But don't tell us in detail. I don't want to read it. I just, at least we know. Ooh! I was spending some time in the lounge reading a book when I saw someone in the corner of my eye. I looked over to see... Hey there, sis! Luca! Um, so, where's Gil? 
He's out at the moment, but he said he'll be back by the afternoon. Would you like to wait for him here? Yeah, it actually works out better for me if he's not around. Um, sis, I wanna... Did I do it right? Yes. Just connect the line here. Very good. Done! Oh my god, were we helping him write? Oh! Oh! When it was like connecting the line, I'm like, are we teaching him how to spell shit? Like, oh. L U C A. So this is how I spell my name? It certainly is. Yeah, I see. So this is mine. Brightest smile broke across his face. I'm gonna die. Why is this so cute? I'm not drunk. I didn't even have a drink at all, but this is adorable. Stop it. At least this poor fucking child is alive. Didn't he die in Orlok's route? Jesus Christ. That's trauma. Look, all of our love interests died in different... Oh, wait. Wait. Is Nicola dead in this route? <laughs> Maybe that's why we haven't seen him. Oh, because in certain routes, in the good endings, characters died. Um. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, is he dead? Oh, shit. Snap, he might be. Didn't, like, in good endings, because we're with Gil, so it didn't matter what happened to the Falzone family, right? Because I know people died. Oh. Oh, no. I mean, obviously in bad endings, but I think in some of the good endings, some of the other characters died. <gasps> That's why we haven't seen him. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to look that up. Like, what happened at the end? Like, who died in what route? Oh, shit. I don't remember. Oh, my God. But okay. Like, Luca's not dead. So, I mean, he, that was... I mean, that poor kid doesn't... Just, like, look. Our other boyfriendos are in the Mafia. So, like, if they get shot and shit, it's like, well, I mean, you're in the Mafia. Like, right? You got to figure that's going to happen. Doesn't mean I like it, but, you know, I understand. But, like, Luca didn't do anything fucking wrong with this poor goddamn child. Like, seriously? Come on. Anyway. Yeah, I've lived in Strano all my life, and none of us go to school, really. You know what bothered to teach anyone anything? Mama can't read either. And it's not like reading and writing could put food on the table. So I thought I could do without it, but... Actually, reading and writing can put food on the table, because you could get a job where you're required to read and write. Maybe they'll pay you more if you can. I'm just... When I heard you were studying, sis, I... I thought maybe I still had time, but maybe I could start studying from now on. Absolutely. Wanting to learn's the first step. There's no such thing as starting too late. Really? <laughs> Luca chuckled bashfully, then lifted the paper up to his face to have a closer look. Um, it's easy to write short messages, isn't it? But since I can't read... Gil always has to give me instructions in person if he asks me to do something. I was thinking that it isn't normal for a boss to give orders directly to an underling like me. I've been thinking a long time that it might be a bother to Gil. Luca. No, uh, not that I want to learn because of Gil, okay? I can make lots more money if I become a smarter, better informant. Well, just know that I'll be supporting you, Luca. It means he's not wrong. I teach the children at the church how to read and write, too, so you can come by any time. Grazie, Space. But, but, well, keep this a secret from Gil, will ya? I want to study enough so that one day... I can slap him with the report I wrote myself. I'm going to surprise him good. Of course. I promise I'll keep it a secret. I knew exactly how he felt, wanting to wait until he got better before saying anything. Just as we made our promise... The door to the lounge opened. Huh. Welcome back, Gil. I quickly stood up in front of Luca to greet Gil while Luca hurriedly... Oh, Luca hurried to hide his paper. Yeah, well, sorry about this morning. Wanted to stay until you woke up, but I got an urgent call from Dante. No, don't worry. You shouldn't apologize for that, Gil. I was the one who woke up late. Slip well, then? I mean, after the shit you did to me last night, I need... <laughs> oh, I knocked the fuck out. <laughs> His low voice made my heart race. All of a sudden, what we did last night filled my mind and left me breathless. That I'm okay with. not like, oh, I'm embarrassed. It's like, oh, <gasps> takes my breath away. Yes, it should. 
Yeah. <clears throat> That's right. Last night I got too carried away and... It, it's fine. I slept very well. It's like, Luca's here. Please don't talk about the shit we did last night. Glad to hear it. Huh. Didn't notice you were here, Luca. Yeah, right? That's why we're like, hey, it's fine. Don't talk about it. Oh, yeah, I just got here. Sis is usually here on the weekend, so I figured I'd stop by and say hi. Well, I gotta get going. Do you want to be a third wheel? Got it. Uh, Luca, you mind if I ask you a favor? What do you mean? For work? Yeah. Hill's eyes directed Luca to the hallway before walking out ahead of him. Luca tilted his head curiously before following right after. Well, that's very unusual. Anyway. Ah, this is... Okay. Yeah. Well, well, that's very unusual. Favor. Oh, we get to find out what it is. I also like this, too. Because then it's like, well, we don't know what's going on. I want to know what the favor is. Well, we find out now. So what's the job? I'm looking for someone. But he may have already left town. All the better if that's the case. But if you find him, let me know. Uh-huh. Sure thing. Guy in this picture. Middle-aged with black hair. American, but speaks Italian. Name's Eugene. Hmm. Well, that's his last name. Oh, God. Not sure about that. Gotcha. I'll check it out. Not sure about what Eugene's last name is? Not sure about what Eugene's last... That sounds sus as fuck. You don't know Eugene's last name? I kind of am going to call bullshit on that. I feel like you mafia boys would know everybody's first, middle, last names and like all their family members and shit. I'm just saying, that seems suspicious that you don't know his last name. And is that because you don't want to... <gasps> is he your brother? <laughs> Eugene Redford, but I don't want to tell anybody that. I don't want anybody to know he's my brother. Or like your cousin, and if you say Redford, then it's like he's related to you, and then we know, and like you'd rather just be like, yeah, I, I don't know his last name. <gasps> yeah. Just throwing it out there. And who's the girl? Who's on Maria? Uh huh. Did you steal this woman away? I'm just so curious. Anyway, gotcha. I'll check it out. Thanks. Ideally, he'd be gone, but... I know better than anyone that he doesn't like following orders so easily. Well, that's very unusual. Usually, he wouldn't hesitate to talk about work here in the lounge. I decided to clean up the table, wondering what it was he'd want to keep, uh, to keep secret. Looking for his brother? I don't know who it is, but I'm just saying... Time flew by when I was with Gil. It felt like we were only chatting for a moment, but soon it was already nighttime. After dinner, Gil invited me to his room so that we could be alone together. Again? Hey. Yeah. Oh! Don't make me read it, though. Going back to the church tomorrow already. He let out a heavy sigh as he swirled his drink in his glass. I know, we should just move in here. I want to stay here forever. I don't want to go live in a church. I mean, she's a good little church girl, but I just, I'm good, I'm just really afraid she's going to burst into flames while I'm controlling her every time she walks into the church. Just saying. Shame. I don't want you to leave. Should I just lock you up while I still have the chance? Whoa! We've been in that ending in a lot of different other routes. And I'm just saying, I don't think you could do it as good as Nicola's bad ending. Like the tragic ending? That was like, you're like, this ain't... I mean, it's not the best ending, but it's not bad. I'm totally okay. The worst offense to that ending, that was the one where he basically locks you in your room, gives you beautiful dresses, and then just rips them off you. Put this dress on. Now I'm going to rip it off. That's the That was the worst offense in that. Could you not rip my pretty dresses? I'll wear them, but please don't rip them. You just... <laughs> don't rip my dresses. I'll take it off. It's fine. Like, But like that was like... I mean, that was... That was not that bad of an ending. You're like, oh my god. <laughs> Dump a bucket of water on me. That ending was hot. Anyway. <sighs> We're giggling at that? He's serious. I knew he was only playing around, but I could still tell he didn't want me to leave. Say, hey, space. What is it? No 
you'll pause for a moment before facing me. I love you, bird, but please stop rubbing on my headset because I keep feeling like you're not just rubbing your head, you're going to chew on it, and I don't like it. There's something I need to talk to you about later. Later? Not now? Right. Not until everything's set. Look straight at Gil. I'm looking forward to it. Don't push yourself too hard. I guess I would say I'm looking forward to it. Don't push yourself too hard. I'm looking forward to There's something I want to talk to you. I'm looking forward to it. Although, I kind of feel like it's almost like, is it a good thing or is it a bad thing? I feel like it might be more of a bad thing in this round, but oh, don't push yourself too hard. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? What do you mean? You always work so hard, Gil. Sometimes I worry about you. You'll even put yourself in harm's way if you feel like you have to. I can't deny that, but don't worry. What I need to tell you is not entirely related to work. Really? Yeah. And if things go as planned, I'll be able to talk to you about it properly. Oh my god, are you going to ask me to marry you? I'm here for it. I won't keep it a secret for much longer, so just you wait. Okay, got it. Oh, and about next week's schedule, I have to meet one of my clients in Rome, so I'll be away from Berlin for a few days. See, um, Gil, perhaps I'm mistaken, but... It seems a lot of your deals have been outside of town recently. That's right. You remember what happened at the casino? Used to be a great place for me to have my meets, but not so much anymore. Besides, some of my clients are avoiding Berlin with everything that's been going on. Well, the road goes both ways, so I got no problem seeing them myself. Well, careful, Gil. Yeah, I'll come see you at the church when I'm back. Expect you to greet me properly with a passionate kiss. Like this. <gasps> Do we get a CG? No. The glass that Gil had in his hand was empty now. He pulled me in and gave me a deep kiss. My week- oh. My weekends were with Gil were surprisingly short. I mean, it's only two days. Notice. I'm assuming we read this. Meanwhile, yes. I wanted a CG of this passionate kiss. Oh, is this you on? Oh, no, it's Orlock. Okay. The sight of it left me completely stunned. Horrible. And the ruins were nearly unrecognizable. And the altar was destroyed. The stone flooring was crushed and the dirt underneath overturned. As though someone was looking for it. Of course, they could never have obtained the sacred relic this way. Sacred relic! One of the many one of many treasured artifacts with religious religious significance. If I can't. In the Middle Ages, they were highly sought after both by believers as well as those who saw them as a source of profit or prestige. But or did it knew full well that something was hidden here. That somewhere in Berlone is a man who doesn't fear God. As I looked around the ruins in shambles, instincts were telling me that the worst was still to come. Obviously. Anyway. My weekends with Gil were surprisingly short. I sometimes had selfish thoughts of wanting to stay with him for longer. We kissed over and over again, neither of us wanting to part ways. Oh, I doubt you're gonna part. I'm just gonna guess we're gonna have a repeat of last night. And then the end. Good for us! We made it to chapter two! Perfect place to end! It only took us like two hours to get here! That means it's gonna take us like 10 to 12 hours to finish this route. I'm just throwing this out there because there's six chapters. There's five and then the sixth is the end kind of thing because I kind of scrolled through just to see. So, yeah. So that's really funny for Otome Kitten being like, it took me like five to six hours to finish all the routes and then like do all the choices and find, basically poke around and find the way to get all the endings. And I'm like, it's gonna take us like 10 fucking hours to do because... <laughs> It takes us twice as long if the how long to beat i think is the website i don't know it's something like but it'll say like oh it takes like 60 hours to finish a game i'm like you're banking we're doing at least 80 to 120 because like it takes us 10 times longer to finish a game because we talk through it and i postulate and it would be the same thing if i were playing the game because i always stop and like reflect on things even if i'm playing by myself like i have only played games that i can't record for you like by myself but like anyway um we'll stop here and we will continue the start of chapter two woo, in the next part so i will see you guys next time <laughs>
remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Thank <laughs> you.